So I wasn't going to make this video initially, but then Philip Mewson decided to act like a prick. Philip Mewson, for those who don't know, is a plagiarist who used to work at IGN before it was discovered that he not only straight up plagiarized his review of Dead Cells, but also many of his videos on his YouTube channel and various articles he posted on website IGN. He's tried to make amends, tried to apologize, and now he's made a second return of sorts after taking a bit of a break from YouTube. And my main issue is not the fact that he returned, but how he's behaved after the fact, as we'll talk about in a bit. But a quick recap, back in August 6, 2018, uh, YouTuber Boomstick Gaming posted this video highlighting similarities between his review of Dead Cells and Philip Mewson's posted on the official IGN YouTube channel and on the official IGN website. IGN proceeded to investigate the matter and discovered that the review was indeed plagiarized and so they fired Philip Mewson right there and then and had to do a whole lot of damage control. Then Philip Mewson responded. And this is, without question, one of the worst apology videos or response videos I've ever seen. He was very vague about some of the statements that he made. He never flat out admitted plagiarism. He said that whatever happened with the Dead Cells review wasn't intentional. Instead of apologizing to Boomstick Gaming, he just said, I respect you, keep doing what you do. Never flat out saying, I'm sorry that I stole your content. He called out Jason Schreier for reporting on this and dared the internet to find more evidence of plagiarism. And just in general, he played a victim, claiming that people covering this news was the equivalent of kicking someone while they were down. With Philip Mewson having dared Jason Schreier and the internet to look for more evidence of plagiarism, that's exactly what they did, and that's exactly what happened. Jason Schreier published and updated this article, highlighting a bunch of other cases in which he straight up just copied and pasted words and concepts from other outlets' reviews. There were entire forum posts dedicated to highlighting the plagiarism that Philip Mewson engaged in. Here are a bunch of articles that IGN removed after Philip Mewson was fired because they believe these articles were also plagiarized in some way, shape, or form. Two months after his non-apology and after he went radio silent, he decided to return with a video in which he once again did not apologize, just uh, said, man, I know some things happened, but let's move on. I'm going to be better, guys, from here on out, and then pretended like... Uh, that was all that needed to be done for him to redeem himself. And so that video got a lot of dislikes. And it wasn't until the following year on April 19th, 2019, that he finally published a proper apology video in which he full on confessed to plagiarism, confessed which specific content he stole, and apologized to the right parties. But for a lot of people, it was too little too late. So in the videos following that apology, he would still be getting tons of dislikes. The likes to dislikes ratio did not improve. If anything, it got worse from time to time, as you can see. So Philip Mewson decided to take a break from YouTube once again. Understand that plagiarism is the cardinal sin of journalism, of critique, whatever you want to call it. Even plagiarizing once will throw your credibility out the window. But Philip Mewson did this repeatedly and refused to apologize for it for a very long period of time. For a lot of people, Philip Mewson just felt irredeemable. So after this August 1st, 2019 video, Philip Mewson stopped uploading seemingly due to the negativity that continued to head his way. But then fast forward almost a year, and Philip Mewson is making yet another attempt to return to the YouTube scene. So here's a tweet from July 18th, 2020. He simply said, The internet, nothing. Me, a very honest and original Dead Cells review. It seems rather tone deaf to me that Philip Mewson would go back to the game whose review tanked his career. Given all the baggage surrounding that game in relation to Philip Mewson's endeavors, why on earth would you revisit this game instead of moving on to other things? The bridge for Dead Cells and you is burned. Not to mention that the way this comes off is Philip Mewson trying to get attention by revisiting this game whose review he plagiarized and using that as a means to propel his uh, new attempt at getting back into the YouTube scene. This feels like a move that he knew would 
garner maybe some headlines. And so he decided to revisit this game to use the baggage as a potential way to draw attention to himself. Like, I don't know, it just seems very tone deaf and doesn't come off very well. As for the review itself, well, he kind of tries to poke fun at himself for the whole plagiarism incident. So here are some segments worth highlighting. In fact, it's so good that the first time I tried reviewing it, it left me so speechless that I literally went looking for someone else's opinion to describe it. Philip Mewson. Philip Mewson. Philip Mewson. Philip Mewson. So, on one hand, he probably was making a joke with that statement, but him having the gal to say that, oh, this game left me so speechless that I looked for somebody else's words to review this game, that's just not one of those jokes you get to make as the plagiarist. You don't get to downplay what you did and try to make it a, oh man, let's laugh about that one time where I plagiarized a review type of situation. You don't get to do that. Plagiarism is a serious offense and you don't get to pretend like it's now a laughing matter because it's not and it will never be. And then he brings up the whole plagiarism incident one more time at the end of the review. He says, And look, I know I'm probably the last person that anyone would ever expect to talk about this game. The stupid shit I pulled will forever remain the biggest regret of my life. And I know that no matter what I do to try and make amends, it'll probably never be enough for some people out there. I certainly can't promise you that I'll be able to stick around forever, because honestly, I don't know how much more negativity I can take. But I want to try and do right by you guys one more time, and I can promise you one thing for sure. This review, and every review I create from here on out, will always be a very honest and original review. You don't know how much more negativity you can take. I don't know what Philip Mewson expects will happen if he continues to upload videos. People will always remember what you did. The severity of your actions cannot be overstated. You didn't just plagiarize one review, your channel was chock full of plagiarized work and you refused to admit it and apologize for it and make proper amends even months after launch. It took you months to finally do the right thing. Given the severity of what you did, people don't feel like you're fit to be a game news guy or game review guy. So you continuously trying to get back into this game that you've botched for yourself is going to invite negativity. If you can't take the negativity, stop and consider another career path. Your life isn't over just because you can't YouTube or get the same kind of reception you used to get. This was your doing, you tanked your career. It's time to move on to other things. Now what really prompted me to make this video isn't the fact that Philip Mewson is making yet another return. I was just gonna let that be and the events play out however they play out. But it's the way Philip Mewson has been responding to people who are understandably peeved at him or even people who are trying to help him. People who are just giving him honest and genuine advice. Philip Mewson responded with scorn and sort of acting like he has some kind of high road to take here. So among the responses Philip Mewson got on Twitter is from Mitchell Saltzman, who is an editorial producer at IGN. He responded as follows. The last bit in this video where you said, I don't know how much more negativity I can take, made me legit concerned for you, so I'm going against my instincts and replying to this to hope I can get through. I get that you want to come back to YouTube creation, because you've got this channel and this following that you worked really hard for, but you have to understand the gravity of what you did is so massive that you don't just get to press the reset button and go back to normal. The bridge has been burnt, and every time you resurface and try to come back, you're just inviting more negativity into your life. No amount of apologies or promises to do better will bring that bridge back. That said, there's got to be other avenues for you out there that don't involve being a public internet persona. You're a really fucking good video editor. Everyone thinks so. Those are the skills you should be marketing right now. He is straight up just telling Philip what he needs to hear. What you did was so severe and so egregious that it's incredibly difficult to come back from this. There may not be any coming back at all, and so it's time to maybe move on. If you don't want to invite negativity, 
stop with this path, this bridge that you've burned for yourself. It's called accepting the consequences of your actions and moving on and trying to move in a different direction and improving yourself. Philip took offense with this advice and tweeted out the following. I find it fascinating that people will denounce me publicly as a game reviewer, but then apologize for doing so and wish me the best of luck privately in my DMs. So this individual, Mitchell, reached out to Philip via DM to try to keep this conversation more private and try to share words of encouragement. And what's Philip's response to kind of spit in his face by revealing private conversation and then trying to make this all look incredibly negative for Mitchell, trying to make him look like the bad guy in this scenario. Even though all he clearly was trying to do is help him and give him advice and explain to him why the negativity is still coming his way. Mitchell was understandably baffled by this response and he tweeted out, well, at least you're consistent in your ability to leave me in utter shock at your lack of sense. I apologized in case my blunt honesty came off as being negative, which I now know was a mistake. My DM was genuine, my concern was genuine, and you just spat in my face. Philip claims that he was being denounced, but reading through Mitchell's comments, I personally don't get the sense that he was flaming him in any way or admonishing him in any way, just providing honest feedback and criticism that feels constructive and true to Philip's situation. The fact that Philip can't see it as such and responds with aggression to this and tries to make Mitchell look like the bad guy amidst all of this, the gal to even pretend like Philip can take any kind of high road against an IGN employee considering what he pulled and how much he marred the reputation of IGN with his plagiarism. With this kind of attitude, this lack of humility, and lack of being able to accept criticism and accept the fact that people will be upset at him given the severity of what he did. The guy's kind of hopeless. It doesn't feel to me like he's learning to a degree that justifies some kind of redemption for him. Mitchell Saltzman proceeded by blocking Philip Mewson, deciding that this is just a hopeless case, seemingly. Philip Mewson decided to oust that and say, So much for continuing the conversation about your genuine concern and my misdoings. Why are you upset about your kind DMs? Maybe because it doesn't match your public narrative? What public narrative? Mitchell was, again, just offering you genuine constructive criticism that you needed to hear. As this Twitter user put it, his public narrative was, one, I'm legit concerned for you, two, you worked really hard for your channel, three, the bridge has been burnt, four, you're inviting negativity by bringing up the past, five, you're a good video editor with marketable skills. Seemed kind in public? I couldn't agree more. Less generous was Ryan McCaffrey, executive editor of previews at IGN. He responded to Philip Mewson with a simple fuck off. And honestly, I think he has every right and every justification to respond this way, given what Philip Mewson pulled and what kind of damage it did to the employees there and the media outlet as a whole. Philip Mewson, instead of just letting the slide and understanding where Ryan comes from and why he's still pissed at what happened, especially with Philip Mewson digging up old wounds by revisiting a Dead Cells review, Philip Mewson's response was, being told to fuck off by an executive of one of the most well-known entertainment companies, not to mention a former direct superior, can only happen in the gaming community. No, Ryan, you can't delete your indecency, just like I can't delete my plagiarism. The very notion that Philip Mewson thinks he can get up on a high horse and lecture an IGN employee after what Philip Mewson pulled while he was employed at that company, I mean, you cannot make this crap up. Ryan did delete the tweet after the fact, which might suggest that this was a knee-jerk reaction, an understandable one if you ask me, but Philip felt the need to just bring it up and make a whole public display out of this while pretending like he is on some high ground here, pretending like he's in any kind of position to lecture anybody about indecency. Ryan then responded with, you playing the victim here is absolutely hilarious and completely on brand for you, which very quickly garnered more likes than Philip Mewson's tweet did. Very quickly, Philip began to give off the impression that he was picking fights with uh, former employers 
who are, again, understandably upset at him and will always be upset at him for what he did and that breach of trust. When Skillup deleted a former tweet in which he expressed support for the notion of a redemption arc or a second chance for Philip Mewson before seeing his attitude and seeing how he's picking fights with former colleagues who have every right to be angry with him, Philip Mewson retweeted that and responded with, I'm not picking fights. I'm standing up for myself and the right to make videos about something I love, video games. I simply would like the opportunity to do that. Nobody's saying you don't have the right to upload videos. You can do whatever you want. Just understand that the consequences for your actions will carry through. The consequences are not just going to disappear, and there will be people out there who will continue to criticize and question your integrity, and there will be people who will flat out believe you don't deserve to continue posting video game news and reviews videos after what you did. And that's their opinion to have whether you like it or not. You of all people, Philip, don't get to wag your finger at anyone, especially considering you have a long way to go before you can prove yourself after the severity of what you pulled. And let me tell you how you're reacting to all of this, the lack of humility at display here certainly isn't gonna help your case that you deserve a second chance. Philip Mewson then added, when your former employer tells you to fuck off on a neutral platform like Twitter, Twitter, neutral platform? What world are you living in? On your own post that has nothing to do with them and then deletes their tweet because it was indecent? I can't sit idle. Are you kidding me? Nothing to do with them? Given your former relationship with IGN and given the part your Dead Cells review played in that whole debacle that played out and given that you're returning with another Dead Cells review, the notion that the tweet here that advertises an honest and original Dead Cells review which brings back old wounds, isn't somehow related to IGN just because you didn't directly name them is plain and simply ridiculous. Everything you do ties into IGN now because you created that notoriety for yourself. And Dead Cells in particular has a very specific history with you and IGN that you're bringing back up by reviewing this game again. Philip Mewson continues with his grandstanding. When former colleagues reply to my tweets and publicly dismiss me while offering forgiveness and encouragement privately in my DMs, I can't sit idle. I do not engage with IGN or any of its employees until they confront me directly. They are coming to my Twitter and sending waves of hate. For what? For something I am repeatedly attempting to repent for, both in a private and public setting? I am not trying to play a victim, I am simply stating facts. You brought up an ugly past and tried to play it off for laughs and like a casual way to move forward. When you bring up a game that marks a huge sore spot for your relationship with IGN and the employees who felt betrayed and wronged by you, yeah you're gonna garner some reactions from the IGN employees too. And you of all people should understand why some of them might react with fuck off, why they might feel that way, why they might still hold a grudge based on what you did. It really wasn't that long ago. Those wounds aren't as healed as you think. They're still relatively fresh. And yes, you're very much playing a victim here, which seems to be a speciality of yours. You're highlighting how there are people out there reacting negatively to your comeback and criticizing that aspect, which should be understandable to you. You're saying you're being victimized by former IGN employees who are either reaching out out of concern or reaching out out of genuine frustration, and you're acting like you're in a position to tell people what's right and wrong in this situation. Philip concludes with, I understand plagiarism. I understand that plagiarism is wrong, and I'll never make that mistake again. The opportunity to prove that I have learned many hard lessons and I'm continuing to evolve as a human being is all that I'm hoping to gain. I think that is what you recognized in me with the tweet you deleted. I feel saddened that you deleted your tweet because I think that you truly do feel that way given your kind heart. I will keep working to try and do right by everyone I wronged, failed, and disappointed. If that's what you really want to do, maybe don't act holier than thou in front of people who you have wronged in a major way acting like you're in any position to give any sort of lecture. And if you really want to prove that you have learned from your mistakes and have taken many hard lessons, let your ego go for a goddamn second and just put the work in instead of prioritizing reacting to people who are giving you advice or understandably telling you to fuck off. Philip Musa needs to understand that for most people who are discovered plagiarizing, there's simply no coming back. Similarly, when you cheat on a test in college and they expel you, Guess what? They're not just going to allow you to register 
and apply for that college again years down the line, it's now a permanent part of your record and it's going to go with you wherever you go. And you just deal with the consequences of your actions. It doesn't mean your life is over. It doesn't mean there aren't other avenues to pursue. But that's a bridge you burned and you have to understand that and come to terms with that instead of trying to rekindle something that you're just stoking the flames for further by engaging with this kind of attitude, this level of bad faith against the people you've wronged. And even those who are trying to be kind to you and constructive to you, you're kind of spitting back at them instead of responding with humility and with integrity. Philip, man, you broke the golden rule. You plagiarized. Your legitimacy, your credibility just is non-existent at this point. You really shouldn't have to learn the lesson of not plagiarizing. You should have known from the outset to not steal content from other people. And you can do whatever you want. You can keep uploading videos, but the shadow of what you did will follow you forever. So really the best thing you can do is just move on and pursue other endeavors where you're not so much in the public light because everyone knows who you are and they know you for all the wrong reasons because of what you did. Accept the possibility that you might not be able to come back from this and that it might be for a good reason, especially if you're gonna focus on tweeting about how you think other people have wronged you instead of looking introspectively and highlighting ways you'll improve as a human being. So there you have it, folks. That's everything I have to say about this situation. I was gonna leave it alone if Philip Mewson just started uploading videos and let the cards fall how they may, but the way he's been responding further and doubling down on his own ego. Given his present attitude, I cannot say that I'm cheering for him or have much faith in him, but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Philip Mewson's attempted return. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.